Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mama Beach and today I wanted to do a video about my girls trip. I just got back from a girls trip this weekend and it was so much fun. And I think a lot of you moms out there know that when you get an opportunity to get away from your children for a few days and just be like an adult person that doesn't have someone attached to you and you can kind of think independently and do what you want and say what you want it's just like so it's such a good recharge so I'm feeling like 100% energetic now that I'm back um, to my mom life with my kids and it was a really fun break so for my girls trip I went up to Pennsylvania um, Amish country and um, me my mom my aunt and my grandma, we usually do this once a year. And we actually already went once. We went in May and we've been going in May for the last two or three years. Um, but we've been having really bad luck with the weather in May. And a lot of the like outdoor flea markets and stuff that we like to go to, um, it gets a little dicey because May has seemed to be like a really rainy month in Pennsylvania. So we decided to schedule a trip for September. And uh, I'm happy to report the weather was amazing when we were there it was dry it was warm we got to do all of the outdoor markets that we have missed in the past and so that part was awesome so before the trip you know that guys know I always like stress out about what bags to bring and this was no different um, before the trip I got tagged on Poshmark by somebody who's a viewer here and who I interact with on Instagram and she just randomly tagged me and she was like hey I thought you may want may be interested in this and I opened it up and it is a Calypso Ambler and I'm like why isn't this showing up like I searched through the new Dooney and Burke listings a few times a day and I hadn't seen it and it had been listed for like 12 hours I'm like what is going on so I finally figured out I think the girl when she set up the Calypso Ambler like listing she didn't click Dooney and Burke or something because it wasn't showing up in the Dooney and Burke listing so no one had seen it and she had it listed at $120 and since I saw that no one was seeing it I offered her $100 and normally I would get kind of like antsy waiting for her to respond hope, hope and hoping that no one else bought it for the list price but seeing that nobody was seeing it for whatever reason I just made and waited and waited and finally at the end of the day she accepted my offer so the day before I left on my girls trip this arrived this super super cute Calypso Ambler and so because it was my newest arrival and I was most excited about it I decided to bring it on my trip but I also wanted to bring a bigger bag um, just in case there was bad weather or something and I needed to carry an umbrella or some larger items around with me so I was having a hard time choosing which larger bag to bring and then I was like, you know what, let's go with the theme. So this is the other bag that I brought with me on my vacation and I went with a turquoise, a crazy turquoise lady theme. <laughs> so no matter what bag I was carrying, I had turquoise with me. So what I ended up doing is putting my wallet contents in here, kind of like how I explained in my crossbody video. I just emptied out my wallet into here and like my pouches. And so this was my little grab and go bag and I actually put it inside here. So when I was carrying my larger bag, I used this as basically my wallet. And then I would leave this in the car. We were gonna go walk around a big market for a few hours and I didn't wanna carry this big heavy thing. And I just put this on. So it actually worked out really well. And I pulled out my apricot ambler so you can see them side by side. They're so cute. Look how cute they are. They're like the most adorable like ice cream sherbet colors together. So I'm really excited that I was able to add that Calypso color and I was able to bring it on my girls trip because it, it came in time. Okay, so let me tell you guys about a little bit about this girls trip. So the first day after we drove up, we went to this market called the Green Dragon and we had never been there before because it's only on Fridays and we don't usually go up on Friday. and. So it was a new experience and it was like just tons of indoor and outdoor everything you could think of. I mean they had all different kinds of like um, baked goods, canned goods, produce, tons of like gorgeous, gorgeous uh, produce and then like tons of different food vendors. And then on top of that they had like a, a live animal auction 
like we went and looked at animals like none, well, none of us are looking for animals but it was just interesting they had an antique auction going on and then they had tons of like um little shops um and they had so many outdoor vendors just everything you could ever want down to like one dollar items like bag like things of tissues i mean it was just completely random just like boxes and boxes of flea market stuff and i have never seen so many terrible fake handbags in all my life i mean i have seen some really bad fake handbags and i've seen some really good ones and these were really really bad like so many fake michael kors so so i've never seen so many fake michael kors some fake louis vuitton but not as much um i don't remember seeing any fake coach there was some fake um gucci but michael kors i mean it was just rampant and so like just for research purposes i started i looked at some of them and like they were just so 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 bad but these women were there were just buying them up like oh my gosh just, i'm gonna be like so cool with my designer handbag and I'm like oh my gosh you guys those don't look real but maybe it doesn't matter so much if you're not like in the burst world it's like eh, it looks close enough so that was kind of fun and educational and so then we went back to the hotel and we had dinner and hung out at the hotel room and my other favorite part of going on these trips with my lady relatives is um, I always bring wine and stuff and I'm like the mini bar girl so I'm like invite everybody over to my room <laughs> I'm like, here, have some wine, have some wine. Um, I've brought like cocktail fixings before. So it's just fun. Cause like normally, like I said, I'm, like very tame mom. And it's so fun to just like let my hair down have some wine and go to dinner and chat with my um, relatives. So that part was really fun. So the next day we got up and we went to this outdoor market called Shups. And Shups is all outdoors. It's in this like grove of like magical trees. It's like a secret shopping spot <laughs> but you find all sorts of things there from like it's mostly antiques um and then the first lady who we saw well she had pumpkins and pumpkins and gourds and all sorts of like halloween stuff and so the most fun part of these trips is the people that you meet you meet some extremely interesting characters in these places these um, people who have spent their lifetimes collecting all of these things that they find to be treasure and some of them are treasure and some of them are not treasure but to the people who are presenting them at the flea market they are 100 percent uh treasure so she had all these beautiful pumpkins and like my aunt and my grandma were buying pumpkins to decorate their houses and then she starts telling us like you guys have to go to the barn we have to go to this barn and we're like what so she hands us this flyer and it has an address on it and then she turns it over and she starts writing these crazy directions like you have to take a left and then you'll go and then you'll cross a bridge and you'll see like just like like with arrows and like landmarks and like none of us had the heart to stop her and be like we're just going to put in the address <laughs> like in our gps but the funny part is when we ended up leaving the, fl the flea market and we decided to go on this adventure to find this ma this barn, um, my GPS wasn't, the satellite wasn't working because we were, the, the signal there is not good. I mean, this is not like a very populated area. So we're trying to like follow my GPS that's like coming through and spits and spurts. And then, but we're also following her di crazy directions that she gave us. And I'll be darned if her directions, which sounded crazy at the time she wrote them, totally got us to this random barn so we pulled up to this barn and we walk inside not really knowing what to expect like because the lady at the, at the shops was like kind of a little strange but like hey we're we'll going on an adventure and this place was awesome 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 she, this woman had taken like all of this stuff that she had gotten from like estate sta sales and like repurposed it painted it beautifully like distressed finishes like um done a lot of like bur burlap reupholstery and like reupholstery with like old coffee sacks and stuff like just really cool stuff and like just looking at her ideas of how she had decorated this barn gave the rest of us so many ideas for decorating our house and my mom bought some really awesome furniture there just really cool like black distressed chair with like oh my gosh 
just really cool stuff. So it turned out to be like the gem of the trip and who would have thought coming from this random lady who wrote these crazy directions that turned out to be totally accurate. It's just one of those things. And you meet these people all the time. And they all have like a really interesting story and really fun personalities. So that's really the, the best part is interacting with the people, I think. So then um, we just shopped all day. I mean, this, these trips, all we do is shop. We shop all day long. You do not sit down. You rarely stop to eat. You just shop. And so we shopped all day long. We went to a couple other places where we picked up some like yummy food stuff, cheese and all that kind of stuff, baked goods. And then um, the next day, which was the last day of our trip, we hit the like big antique malls. And there are some of the vendors that I'm familiar with in there because we've been a few years that I know sell vintage handbags. So that's what I was on the lookout on the third day when we were going to the big antique malls. And there's this one vendor in particular who is at Stouts. So if anybody's going up there and they want to do all these places, let me know. I'll give you a whole list if you're interested in going up and, and hitting the like antique malls, flea markets. I mean, there is tons in a very concentrated area and it's a really fun trip if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, and she always, so this woman always has great handbags. Now the last time I there was there, I didn't see any that interested me that much, but this time I did. And let me show you why. So this is what I picked up from her this year. And I saw this hanging up and I go, Patricia Nash? What's a Patricia Nash bag doing in an antique mall with an antique um, vintage clothing and handbag dealer? So confused. It was up really high so I couldn't really look at it. I was like, what? I was just like baffled. And so I got the lady to come get it down and so I start looking at it and I realize it's not Patricia Nash. It's by some designer called named Marco Avane and it is all like hand woven leather. You hear it? <laughs> and do you see how soft it is? So when I saw it hanging up, it looked very rigid, just like the Patricia Nash, Nash ones um, in this style look rigid to me. But I know hers are also very smushy in reality. So it was fun to handle this in person. Now the cool part about it is that the lining inside where you actually put your items snaps in and out. So you can actually throw the lining in the washing machine, which is awesome. Um, so the lining is just kind of like a, it's a very durable cotton fabric. See, here's how it pulls all the way out and then it snaps here and here. And you can see the inside, how it's all woven leather. And then it just has the two rivets on either side. So I thought it was a really cool, like conversation piece. And after looking up this, um, brand, this designer, his stuff really does not go for very much. It's very inexpensive, and there are some of these right now sitting unsold on Poshmark and eBay for very low prices. So if you um, want to look him up, I will put how you spell his name in the description box. And I don't know the name of the style. I was calling it, when I was looking up and researching it, the Woven Leather Hobo, but I really don't know what the actual style name is. But, I mean... It's a really cool handbag and it really made me wonder like, hmm, I wonder where Patricia Nash got that idea for her woven leather handbags that she has out right now. Maybe it was this guy and maybe he was copying someone else. And so there's someone else back in the seventies, maybe it's cause it kind of has this like seventies throwback vibe to me. I think this was made in the eighties or nineties. It's not that old. Um, but still really cool and it smells great. A lot of times when I buy vintage bags from this place, these places, they kind of have an odor, but this one smells awesome. So I'm like, sweet, I win. It was a great score. And so most of everything else I bought was for my kids, honestly. I love buying them vintage toys that I've played with as a kid and it really brings back memories. And they actually love playing with them. Like some of those really good vintage toys, they last the test of time. And my kids still love them. So I bought them a lot of stuff for Christmas and it was a great trip. I had a wonderful time. It was so hard to come back. I missed my kids and my husband, but it was just so fun to just 
be free and drink wine and cuss if I wanted to. <laughs> you know, it's the little things in life. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this little video about my girls trip. And if, like I said, if you're interested in going up there with your own girls or your husband or whoever you think would be interested in going to these weird little antique um, places and flea markets, um, drop me an email and I, or a comment below and I'll give you my email and I will put together a list of the different shops that we like up there so you can check it out yourself. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.